I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Rugged Ridge Stinger fitting all 1987 and up Wranglers that have the Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper base installed. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this Stinger which is a very simple one out of three wrench installation. We're also going to talk about the construction of the Stinger and a few of the other features. This is for those of you who have installed the Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper base and are looking for a stinger to go along with it. Now, the idea behind these modular bumpers is that you can really build them to fit exactly what you're looking to accomplish, whether it's just the looks or the function. So adding a stinger like this may go right along with your build, and if so, this is going to be a really easy bolt-on installation for that bumper base that's going to change up the look of the front of your Jeep. Now, in my opinion, this is a little bit pricey for the Stinger. And as I've said before, when you're looking at these modular bumpers, chances are by the time you get all the parts you need or want to build that bumper how you like it, you are going to have quite a few dollars sunk into it. However, this is a well-built piece and because it's designed to bolt directly onto that bumper base that you already have, and it will look like it was designed to go on there thanks to obviously being made by the same manufacturer, but also having the same finish and all the same lines, mean that it is worth it if you're somebody who's interested in building yourself a custom bumper. This Stinger is made from three inch diameter, 0.12 wall thickness steel that's covered in a textured black powder coat finish. Now, these Stingers initially were designed for a very specific purpose, and that was that when you're doing some really hardcore wheeling, you're coming down off of an obstacle, and you're about to flip forward, that the Stinger would hit the ground and kick you to one side or the other, putting you back on your tires. Now, I know a lot of you aren't doing that sort of hardcore wheeling, so for most of you, this is just going to be a visual mod, and that's certainly okay. However, if you are doing some hardcore off-roading, I would expect this to hold up to a little bit of a beating on the trail, but I don't know that it's gusseted, welded, and frankly attached to the Jeep in a way that it's going to survive the full weight of the vehicle being leaned on it. That being said, it does attach with the main bumper mounting bolts directly through the front of the bumper into the frame rail of the Jeep. So up here, you are going to have a ton of strength. In fact, Rugged Ridge does give you some D-ring mounts right here on the front mounting points of the Stinger, so that is a very strong area. Up here where the Stinger ties into the top of the bumper, those are just some bolts that go directly into threaded holes in the top of the XHD front bumper, so not as much strength there, but it is going to be plenty strong for recovery because that is pulling directly into the frame horns through the bumper. This does have a little hoop up front here. A lot of you guys like to hook your winch line hook onto this loop when you're not using the winch. Uh, it can certainly be used for that. This doesn't have any sort of other light mounts on it, so it is going to be just that basic stinger with the D-ring mounts. As I said, this is a very simple one out of three wrench installation, as is installing a lot of the accessories you're going to be buying for your Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper base. If you're installing this with the front bumper, you don't have the bumper on the Jeep yet, the installation is going to be a little bit different than if you already have the bumper on the Jeep. If the bumper is already installed, the first step is going to be removing the eight bolts that hold the bumper in place, also removing the caps or any other hoop that you might have on the bumper and any other D-ring mounts. So really stripping it down to the base, except for the ends. You can leave whatever ends on there that you might already have. If you are installing this with a bumper the first time, you obviously won't have any of those accessories. Just pick the bumper up and set it on top of the frame horns. So once the bumper is on the frame horns without any of the bolts in place, you can set the stinger on top and start attaching the eight bolts that attach the stinger to the top of the bumper. Once those are loosely in place, you can go ahead and install the eight bolts that hold the stinger through the bumper into the frame horns and really give this all of its strength. And once all of those are started, you can go back and retighten all 16 of the mounting bolts. From there, it's just a matter of installing any other accessories that you might want to install on your bumper, and you're finished. You won't need any specialty tools to get this done, just some traditional hand tools and about an hour of time. As I said before, this is a little bit expensive, in my opinion, for an accessory for a front bumper. This isn't even a whole front bumper, and there are some bumpers out there that roughly cost what this Stinger does. However, if you're already in the process of building a modular front bumper, 
you know that the cost is going to be a little bit higher than an off-the-shelf bumper. So if you're okay with this additional cost that this is going to add to your entire bumper setup, I think that this does drastically change the look of the front of your Jeep. It adds some function by having these D-ring mounts. And overall, if you're after that Stinger front bumper look and you have an XHD bumper base, this is going to be a good add. So if you have a Rugged Ridge XHD modular front bumper base and you're after that Stinger look, this is going to be a really nice addition. This will install very easily and it looks like it was designed to go with the bumper because it was. So that's my review of the Rugged Ridge Stinger fitting all 1987 and up Wranglers that have the Rugged Ridge XHD front bumper base that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.